Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Origami Wednesday. Today, we're going to make a stingray. I think it looks pretty cute. He's pretty cute. All right, so start with our paper. We're gonna fold it corner to corner diagonally. Okay. Then we're gonna go, and for some reason lately, I've been having trouble with this one. I think because I want it to be perfect and there's no such thing as perfection. So it irritates me, but that's okay because it's still good. And we're still gonna end up with a very cute stingray at the end. Whether it's absolutely perfect or not. Okay, so we're gonna make our kite shape or our ice cream cone shape. Okay, I'm gonna fold this point down. and then tuck it inside. So we're doing kind of the same thing that we did for the burbs a couple weeks ago or last week. Only this time we're gonna tuck our point in. I'm gonna fold this edge to the center. So I'm going from being an ice cream cone to being a kite. Give that a nice sharp crease. Oops. And make that a kite, okay. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip this inside out. I like doing these. I like it when we get to flip things inside out. I feel like we're hiding secret treasures. Okay. So now we have little flippy guys, which we're gonna work with in a minute, but first, we're just gonna be happy that we have this nice little kite shape. Then I'm gonna fold this so that I'm folding it up to this point in here, okay? So it's kind of where everything is converging, so it's a really easy point to find. But I'm gonna flip it to be sure that he stays straight, okay? So I can use the center line here with the center of my kite bottom there, or what will eventually be our cute little stingray tail, okay? And then I'm gonna fold and I'm gonna look, okay, I want to fold it, I'm gonna draw an vis invisible line with my eyeballs right here. So it's roughly in line or maybe even a little bit below these corners, okay? Then I'm gonna fold. This is the tricky bit. There is one tricky bit and this is it. So I'm gonna fold this edge over to the center, okay? which means this is gonna get a little wonky over here, but that's okay. We're just gonna let it be what it's gonna be, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect. See, it's not perfect and that's all right. But I'm getting kind of a little wobbly triangle over here. It is not perfect. You know what, I'm gonna do it better on this side. It's gonna be a little easier over here. Just decided. Okay, so I'm gonna fold that. See, that side turned out really well. Sometimes this happens, but you know what? In nature, not everything is perfect either. So it's okay. We're all gonna survive. Everybody's gonna be happy at the end here. Okay, then I'm gonna take this little flappy guy and fold it down. And I'm kind of folding it at a little bit of an angle. It's a little, uh, it's not perfect, but that's, we're making these little flappy, these little fins down here. And I want this to be about the same. Again, it's not gonna be perfect. That's okay, maybe he's a right, he's a right wing guy, not a left wing guy. We don't know. I'm gonna fold a little piece here. This is gonna be his nose because I'm folding it now. I've done it at the end and it does, it ends up okay. But I just thought, well, everything is laying down here. Let's make it easy. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold him in half. Okay. Fold them in half. And then this is hard because I'm not gonna do like a big hard fold it looks like I am, but that's because there are like seven layers of paper here, okay? I just wanna fold it enough that then I can give his body some shape, okay? So this part gets opened up and squished down. The wings get squished out a little bit flatter. So we're giving his body a three-dimensional feel. So when he lays down, and then I'm gonna take his tail, and you know you do this with scissors with ribbons, 
and it makes the ribbons all curly. Well, if you do it with your fingernail on paper, it causes a curve. And then you can come back and we'll give him a little S-curve tail. And he is ready to swim in your ocean or because it is summer camp, he's gonna swim through your dreams and give you sweet dreams. And that is how we're going to make an origami stingray. He's so cute. All right, everybody have a great week. We will see you next week for another Origami Wednesday. Have a good one.